This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Scott Bergeron from Buck Scientific and he's going to show us their Accusys Atomic Absorption Spectrophotometer. So this is our uh, graphite furnace setup for the, uh, the Atomic Absorption Spectrophotometer. Uh, we have this particular system set up on, a, on our 211 uh, Accusys system uh, which has automatic flame ignition for the, the flame setup. Right now this is currently set up to do graphite furnace work so this is our graphite furnace uh, module which can be added to any of our uh, of our 210 or 211 AA systems. Uh, this in here is the, the graphite furnace head uh, with a graphite tube. And then over here we have our graphite furnace auto sampler uh, with a uh, uh, 40 sample carousel. Uh, we highly recommend using the, the auto sampler with the graphite furnace for reproducibility purposes. The, auto, uh, the, the graphite furnace is excellent for very low level work in metals uh, and you can have uh, any sort of matrix uh, because the graphite furnace uh, removes the, the rest of the sample other than, than the metals that you're interested in. For most metals we see limits of detection around the part per billion range, sometimes even lower than that, so it's very, very sensitive. Uh, it's based off of, like I said, our 210 or 211 system, uh, which has a three-lamp turret. So there's one active lamp, hollow cathode lamp, uh, up on top here. And then uh, you can manually switch to a, a different lamp that's already warmed up, which uh, eases, eases metal transitions. Uh, our 211 has an auto flame, so if you have the flame uh, burner head in there, uh, you can automatically light the flame with the 211, which makes uh, this system a little bit safer to work with students. Uh, it also has a safety interlock for the nitrous oxide head and automatic conversion uh, so that it reduces the risk of flashback. We have our firmware over here uh, with all of the libraries loaded for normal uh, analysis using the graphite furnace or the flame. Uh, controls are, are all manual so as you're setting the as you're setting the monochrometer uh, it's excellent for academic use again uh, so that the students can can really understand what's happening with uh, the analysis um, the Limited industrial applications for this particular yes instrument? Uh, we see a lot of wastewater applications for this uh, very low levels of lead can be seen with this application uh, we do a lot of petroleum analysis with this uh, from, for wear metals and oils. Um, those, those are some of the main, main applications. What are these controls around the side of you, Scott? Oh, this is the, uh, the monochrometer control and the, the slit control over here. Uh, again, they're manual. Uh, it allows for uh, simplistic use of, of the instrument and aligning the lamp. Uh, for optimal functionality. Again, if you want, if you want any information on this, uh, you can check us out at uh, www.bucksci.com. Uh, and we also offer uh, leasing terms with our sister company, Buck Financial. All right, Scott, thanks very much for taking us for a tour through your Accusys 211 Atomic Absorption Spectrophotometer with Graphite Furnace. Thank you.